What's going on world? Uh, happy Friday. I thought I would come in to you straight from the Permian Basin out of my mud logging trailer and give you a mid session update on the drilling operations presently at the location I am at. We haven't drilled in about 48 or so hours because of a mud problem. We're having issues with the drilling fluid being too viscous. So this is something that you might come across as a mud logger, as a oil and gas field service worker, whether you're a driller, a mud engineer, or anything in between. So we've had trucks flying in out of here, full of drilling fluids, full of additives, full of all sorts of stuff. The rig has been in a frenzy, and I am sitting here in a logging trailer, not working very hard because they are not drilling. So one of the great benefits of being a mud logger is if they are not drilling, the operating company is still paying for the mud logging services, and I still get to clock in. So. Unfortunately for the operator, this well is costing them a little more money than they would like to spend, but uh, we all get to learn something from it. So I'm going to take us around the shaker table, show you what's coming across, and uh, we'll look at some mud without any real cuttings in it. And yeah, so tune in. I walked out to the shaker table, walked across the mud pits, and they were displacing all the mud from the wellbore and the tanks and replacing it with what is now oil-based mud. It was a water-based mud with uh, some polymers in it to lubricate the bit, to keep the wellbore open, to not have as much communication between the formation and the open hole but unfortunately we ran into all these issues with the drilling mud uh, essentially turning into peanut butter so they're dumping all of the fluid into a pit which is then going into those trucks behind it and getting carted off and disposed of somewhere uh, in the Permian. We had drilled through two faults earlier uh, probably within a few hundred feet of each other and there's a good chance that there was something within the faults maybe from other frag stages from other wells that infiltrated our well and got mixed up in their mud fluid because the mud essentially turned into peanut butter and it was not flowing they could not drill further and that's when they started having all the issues with the well They'll probably be done cleaning up this mess before my shift is over and I'm sure they'll be drilling ahead in the next few hours. But I wanted to share with you some of the issues that you'll come across working in the field. One of which is contamination of the drilling fluid within the formation, destroying the integrity of the mud and delaying drilling. Thanks for checking out the geology vlog. Tune in, turn on, drop out, and look out for vlog number two coming at you early next week.